How's it going guys? Uh, I've been living in Japan for about a month now. Uh, I currently live in Urayasu City in Japan and something I've always wanted to do was to cycle across Japan. So today we're going to be cycling around Urayasu City and uh, we'll see what adventures come our way. But first we're going to need to find our bike because I need to rent one first. All right, there's our bike. So let's start on this journey. All right, so we're gonna start cycling to the edge of the city first uh, by the seaside, and then we'll do a big lap around the city. So let's go. So we've just made it to the edge of the city. Uh, just over that way, it, right over there is the next city over, Ichikawa City. And all the way over there is my city, I guess, Oryasu City. So yeah, as you can see, there's this nice little river walk here. And yeah, we're gonna be cycle, cycling all across the river, river rock and around and uh, we'll stop and see some sights along the way. So let's go. So uh, we're just about to exit the seawalk. Uh, it is really beautiful. So I'm gonna take a break right now. It does look rather beautiful out there. And uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy I did this whole experience. Uh, right now I'm drinking up Kari Sweat. You probably, it's, it's like a energy sports drink. It's like Gatorade for Japanese people, I suppose. So. short break and then we're back on the road. So now we're at the Oryasu Folk Museum. It's supposed to be like a historical thing that shows up like old Japanese uh, fishermen, fishermen town, fishermen wharf kind of vibe. So uh, let's see what it's all about. All right, we're in. Wow. They weren't lying, this does look great. Oh, geez, this is like a blast in the past. Oh, so this was like a fish market before. Interesting. Oh, this seems like it might have been a general store, maybe? Now, I want to say this is like an old lumber yard, but this just looks like a place where they store, like, just like a storage place. So yeah, that was a pretty cool historical place. It, yeah, it had like a bunch of old Japanese buildings. Looked fantastic. It's like very cultural, very old. <laughs> Loved it a lot. I would highly recommend you coming here. Admission's free, by the way. So uh, you know, you got nothing to lose except for like half an hour. So uh, yeah, now that we've seen that, let's head to our next location. All right, let's hit the road again. Let's go. So you probably think it's like a little weird slash even bad to like have McDonald's in the middle of a cycling trip, but like, you know, 
McDonald's outside like of America is like rather small. So I feel like it'd be pretty good as a snack. Also, we can, also I'm excited to see what kind of food they have. I kind of just asked them for what they recommended for what's the most popular. So let's see what they get me. All right, never mind. They just got me a generic double cheeseburger and Coke and fry. Okay, wow. Okay, I guess there's not that much special. <laughs> this, <laughs> it's not. Not even that special. All right, that sucks. All right, now that I'm done being a fat, disgusting American, let's cycle and hit the road again. Let's go. My goodness, is this place gorgeous? Well, back on the riverside, there's there's people fishing down there, and we're gonna head in that direction for a good with for a good few miles. Oh, but I am so glad I came here today. It is so nice behind me right now. All right, let's hit the road. Japanese people is the fact it's the home to Disneyland. Uh, in this city, they have Disney Sealand and Disney Land back to back next to each other, which is like insane. But unfortunately, today uh, we're not going to Disneyland or Disney Sealand because the tickets are backed up all the way till like November, and they're like 200 bucks each to go to each location. So uh, we're not we're not going to go there today, but we're going to cycle and circle around the immediate seaside and let's enjoy the view. All right, so we finally reached the end of the river, which as you can see, we came from that direction. And now we're finally out looking a sea or a bay of something. The breeze is, the breeze is really nice out here. And, uh, really use it because I've worked on quite a bit of sweat and uh, yeah so now we're just gonna hike around this new bay or sea that's along Disneyland and uh, yeah and we'll go from there all right back on the bike Boys, time to do some off-roading. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here we are at another seaside park. Uh, it's a local park called Take Takatsu Seaside Park. And again, the views are to die for. If it wasn't for so, if it wasn't for today being so hot, I would actually enjoy this. And there's no vending machines around. I could really use a drink. But other than that, yeah, we're gonna cycle along this seaside again and uh, see what we can find.
all right we're at our final final park the views again look great but for you guys probably at this point just like a flipping water so great about it but uh this is the final park and we have i have one more surprise for you uh not too sure if i can film it but i'll try my best but uh uh don't worry it it won't be seasides anymore but it will have something to do with water again so uh see you then behind me is an onsen uh i'd like to film in there but i'm pretty sure they won't let me but yeah i just need this to wash off and cool off and then uh, we'll head back home and return the bike all right so it looks like first we have to deposit our shoes uh, uh, we need money uh, 100 yen and then twist and then Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, and off we go. Yeah. Alright, so I just finished washing up. Sorry, I couldn't show you any of the inside. It's like stuff will let me make sense. But I made some new clothes. I feel refreshed. And this place just so happens to be a bit of a tourist attraction. Now that I'm all clean, let's uh, get some food. All right, so I got my food. I got some ramen, uh, some soy sauce ramen, shoyu ramen. It looks pretty awful, but uh, I guess you come here for the onsen, not here for the food. So uh, let's eat. Yeah, so this place is a bit of a tourist attraction. They have restaurants. They have a whole relaxation area. So yeah, that was an onsen experience. The onsen was nice. Everything else is sort of corny and tourist trapped trappy but uh, for the most part it was kind of fun it was a little expensive though it was like 22 bucks to get in and a seven dollar ramen so um probably come here once and never again <laughs> well yeah but uh yeah so i think we're almost done for the day i'm just gonna return the bike and then yeah then that'll be the end so let's finish up the last leg of our journey so that's all i have for you today oh, i'm dead tired i started cycling at nine o'clock today it's about like 1 30 so about like four hours give or take minus all the pit stops so i'm quite tired but i'm also kind of happy that i uh, explored explored my hometown city i guess so um that's all i have for you today so i guess i'll see you guys in the next video bye